Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos, your first stop for easy Elden Ring gameplay. You don't need to get good, you just need to get slack. That's right, get slack. Um, we are here in the abandoned cave, we are here for pretty much one reason, that's to get the gold scarab talisman, which will allow us to make 20% more runes on all enemy kills. Um, this is going to be a big part of your farming gear. This place is full of rot. I mean, the worst kind of rot. Maybe not as bad as the Lake of Rot, but pretty close. So we want our best rot gear on. This would be the mushroom gear. Keep the uh, Twin Sage crown on, but everybody's got the mushroom gear. We already get that. did that earlier on. So put on all your mushroom gear. And... Losing my voice here. And the immunizing horn charm. That's on. Maybe the blessed dude talisman. And let's get rid of this and this and put in some preserving boluses and some immunizing cured meat. All right. And as far as enemies, we're going to handle mostly everything with Night Comet. Oh yeah, one more thing. Take that out for now and hook up your Bloodhound Claws. These can be used to get through the rot very quickly. Okay, the special skill, the Bloodhound Step. Just keep pressing the skill and you will you shoot like this rot is what I call slow walk rot. Just like some poison is like slow walk poison. This is slow walk rot. So once you get down in it, you'll be walking slowly through the sledge and you can be building up your rot meter very quickly. So the best thing to do is to use the Bloodhound's step, all right? So let's buff up. Let's make some of these. Okay, let's nosh on a little of the immunizing cured meat. And we're gonna drop down. Ah, oh, shit. Mr. Fumblefingers, what'd I say? <laughs> that wasn't exactly textbook, but uh, yeah, you're supposed to shoot over there. Looks like my rot meter is going to max out, so let me just uh, have some anti-rot chewing gum here. That right there is some dragon, dragon moon grease. I don't even know if it's worth it. For us, like this is better for like a melee. Actually, if you just go on here, like this. There we go, that's not too bad. Grab that. Okay, watch out for those explosions there. Okay, we're good. Okay, we just want to get across here. Shoot across there like that. There we go. Okay, everybody, light up and be happy. Alright, there's a poison guy down here, like shooting like poison at you. Just kind of creep up here like this, turn to the south, you're going to pop up and shoot a night comet at him. And do I have the right staff on? Yes, the staff of losses. Pop up, grab, night comet, down he goes. And this is the Serpent Bone Bow. Good grief. Let's go grab it. If you're following my samurai walkthrough, I forgot, I plum forgot to get this, even though I was getting it all in my practice runs. Just jump over here like this. There we go, the Serpent Bow, not the Serpent Bone Bow. And we're going down this way. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to tell everyone 
I changed my spell roll, I now have Loretta's Great Bow. Loretta's Great Bow, um, it's not as powerful as Roxling, but it's great for those situations where you're like, you're in a really skinny space and Roxling just won't work because it just keeps bumping into the walls and not everything. Okay, there's a couple of rats up ahead. There's also one of those poison guys up ahead there. You see, you, gra you can grab him with like the, um, the lock on and just rush up and night combat him before he has a chance to start, start shooting poison at you. You won't be able to see him, but you'll be able to grab him with your lock on. So just keep pressing your lock on, feel around, and you'll find him. Yeah, nice try there, buddy. Okay, give me another uh, rat in here. There it is. There's another one. Take care of those. A little bit of gravitas. Some fire grease. Okay, this is the poison flower cave. It's a giant poison flower there. It's going to start raining holy hell down on you. Um, this is where Loretta's Great Bow would be useful. And let's switch over to the Carrion Regal Scepter, which has a slightly higher sorcery scaling on it. Okay, so we're going to jump down. Let me just, uh, buff up with a little bit of, uh, Golden Vow here. I want to take this thing down fast. Jump down, grab it. Charge up your shot. Boy, it came at me right away. You can charge your shots with Loretta's bow, by the way. You just hold down the attack button, and you, when you see that little glowy... Like, watch, watch, watch. Boom, see that? Now it's charged. Okay, it's gonna... Wrong lock on. Got it. All right, now there's one, another one of those poison guys over here. You can't see him here. Um, there he is, right there. There's actually two of them. Let's just whack him with the bow. Dude. Okay, and there's another one up on the ledge there. Um, can we just sneak along here like this and stay out of the ride? What we could do is um, we could get a death light on him. Just we run straight up and like we'll be right down below him. And then we just rush up and whack him. That's a good plan. Oh, he came down. Okay. Good. And all those flowers spawned. That's great. Okay, so. Can we reach them with Night Comet? Let's find out. Hurry up, Slack. Here they come.
every time I go through here I get my strategies like I think I've got the best strategy and then I come up with something better watch it out okay it's so got a whole bunch of Aeonian butterflies here And there's something up here. I forget what it is. I think it's a ritual pot. Oh, it's a venomous fang. That's it. That just leaves the boss fight. This is a dual boss fight. Can be a little hellacious. Um, I think I'm going to go with Rock Sling. Keep the Rock Sling in, put the Meteorite Stab in the right hand, Shield in the left. Um, medium load, that's good. They are, they do have the power to rot you. Um, let's swap a Lutel for the Mad Pumpkin Head. And we're going to go all dressed. So, um, Golden Valve, uh, Classical Wonders Physic, go in, spawn Pumpkin Head, swap to the Meteorite Staff. Okay, let's do this now. Classical Wonders Physic, Golden Valve, swap to the Meteorite Staff. Rock Sling. Alright, here we go. Quiet on set. How's your cool pumpkin hit? That's one down. Keep your distance. And that's two down. And for our efforts, we get the gold scarab talisman. So now we're making 20% more runes. And I am going to keep this equipped at all times, henceforth. That's like, you know, a mainstay. Right th straight through to the end of the game. Alright, so now you are fully equipped to do the farming run. At, like I showed you in the previous video, at Zamor Ruins. Okay, you know how to do this. I showed you the, uh, at the beginning of the episode 100 there. Put on your best um, robust gear, but hopefully you're not going to get hit. For me, the best robust gear would be uh, the Exile Armor, the um, Gauntlets, those like Chainmail Gauntlets we bought way back at the beginning of the game, and I believe the Fur Leggings. Okay, and Night Comet, and you know the rest of the deal. Hook up uh, Flask of Wondrous Physic with uh, Magic Shroud and Cracked Tear. Intelligence not uh, tier. What else? Um, oh yeah, load up some gold pickled fowl foot. 
and your gold scarab, and you know what to do. Get farming, people. Like I said, I am now up to level 140. It took me about an hour and 50 minutes. Let me just jump ahead to the um, my level 140 save, and I'll show you exactly how I spent all my points. Okay, I'll be right back. There you go, people. Level 140. Happy Face 3000 is very happy. I've got I've got Vigor up to 41, Mind up to 45, and Endurance up to 31. And Intelligence is as it was before, up to 80. And here are all my other stats. Alright. I feel the HP is a little low. May, I may pump Vigor up to 45, but... Um, I think uh, we're pretty much done with the farming now. We'll just let let the, you know, let let the gameplay as we pr start progressing through Randy's quest line and other stuff. Um, complete leveling up enough to finish off the game. All right. So, yeah. But I may I may pump some more points into vigor. I feel a little uncomfortable with just thirteen forty three HP. But we'll see how that goes. All right. So that's it. You got your homework set up for you. Prime up to one forty. Shouldn't take you that long. And um, I'll see you on the flip side. Nice short video. Gonna keep this short and sweet because I want to keep, uh, like, continue the Randy's Randy's quest line in a separate video, which is coming up right next. We're gonna like continue right here, right where we left off before we did this in major farming excursion at the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. Okay, and I believe that is the direction we're going in, right there. All right, we're done here. We are done here. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Major Slack, and I approve this video. If you do too, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page, and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.